Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today we are going to see a very used command in Linux called touch. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually the touch command is used to create files, but it can do more than that. But we we'll start with the beginning. So in order to create a file using this, this command, it's very easy. So in order to create a file, it's very really easy. All you have to do is to type the touch command following by the file name. So I'll just create a file called file1 and I hit enter. As you can see in my desktop, I have created a file called file1. If you want to create multiple files, you can do that by separating them by space. So I'll create, for example, file2 space then file tree and I hit enter as you can see two files has been created okay so I will delete them okay and now I'm going to show you how I can create them using a trick so I can just type touch then the file beginning or the prefix then I open my parentheses yes I can just do from one double dot to for example it's create four files okay and voila <coughs> I have created very quickly four files so using this trick you can create multiple files at once if you want but one of the biggest and important features of the touch command is it can change the access time of a file so first of all let's for example take file 1 or text 1 if you want and see that it is its access time so I will just type the command stat then the name of my file which is text 1 so this command actually shows us the access type which is 18 03 pm as you can see here and it's on the 2nd of August okay so the access time the modification time and the change time are the same so if I want to change for example the access time of this file I can use the touch command so in order to change it it's really easy so without open it or making any modification I can just type touch minus a then the file name which is text1 and I hit enter now if I run some common stats as you can see now the access time has changed so it before it was on 1803 now as you can see here it's 1804 Okay. but the modification time has not changed it. okay as you can see so in order to modify also the modification time it's really easy we do the same command but this time instead of minus a we will make minus m okay so now if I issue the command let's start as you can see now the modification time has changed okay you can also make your own uh, time if you want so let's say for example I'll show you how so you type the touch command but you add as options minus C minus T and here you specify the date let's say it's on 2010 for example on October okay on the 8th of October as you can see here so 2010 10 for October and 8 for the date and I, I can here specify the time let's say 1730 for example and I hit enter okay now if I issue the command stat 
as you can see now, the access time has been changed to 2010, then October, which is October, actually the month of October, and the 8th, the day 8, and the time, as I specify here, it was 17.30, okay, so it's a very useful command if you want to change the access and the modification time of a file. Okay, now I will show you a little trick. So first, let's issue the command stat on my file here, called Linux command. Okay. Linux command. As you can see, the access time is on the 22nd of July. So let's say I want to make the access time here of this file the same as my text1 file. So in order to do that, it's really easy. All I have to do is to issue the command touch, but this time with the option minus R. And here I will put the file, my file that I want to, to clone its uh, access time, which is text1 and the file that I want to change which is Linux command and I hit enter now if I issue the same command as you can see now the time has changed back to 2010 on the 8th of October so here I have cloned the access time of my text one to this other file here Okay, so that was just an introduction to this beautiful and most used command that creates files but can do more things. Okay, as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.